you watch my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of the Huawei MateBook X Pro. In fact, last year it won my award for the best ultra portable of 2018. For good reason, of course, it has a 3K gorgeous display. It's got a beautiful design as far as looks are concerned. And of course, it had great performance out of the eighth generation Intel processors. It also had the MX150 GPU. So when Huawei announced today the all new MateBook X Pro at MWC 2019, I was excited because I wanted to see what the refresh of my favorite laptop would entail. Now they also released the MateBook 14 and I wanna talk about six months later, my 2018 MateBook X Pro and how it's still relevant here early 2019. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and these are my first thoughts on the new 2019 MateBook X Pro, the all new MateBook 14 and my six month follow-up on the 2018 MateBook X Pro, coming up. Earlier this year at CES 2019, I had my first hands-on look with the Huawei MateBook 13. I came away impressed and couldn't wait to do my full review. Well, I took delivery of it about a week and a half ago, and I've been putting it through its paces ever since. My unboxing and full review should be posted by the time this goes live. And by the way, I did an in-depth comparison with last year's MateBook X Pro. And the timing couldn't be any better because today Huawei announced at MWC 2019 all new refreshed model of the Huawei MateBook X Pro and an all new model in the MateBook line, the Huawei MateBook 14. I'm excited about these two new laptops. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with them right now and give you my thoughts. Now, one thing you should keep in mind, this is not a total redesign as far as the Huawei MateBook X Pro is concerned, and there's good reason for that. It's a very popular design. I actually really like it with its very slim bezels, really sleek design, excellent color as far as that space gray color is concerned. I'm actually impressed with the design, so I'm very happy they didn't do any kind of radical redesign when it comes to the MateBook X Pro. Now, having said that, they did improve on some areas that I think needed improvement, and hopefully those improvements will show in in the final results. We'll find out, of course, when I do my full review. But just so you know, here are some of the new specs as far as the new MateBook X Pro is concerned here for 2019. Okay, so what we're looking at here is again, a 13.9 inch IPS LCD multi-touch display. Resolution is 3000 by 2000, that's unchanged. It still has a 91% screen to body ratio. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll take a look at it once again in just a little bit. It's now powered by the 8th generation Intel Whiskey Lake processors, either the Core i5 or the Core i7. And if you get the Core i7, this should have the MX250 GPU with 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. Now this is the 25 watt variant, so hopefully we'll get a nice spec bump as far as that's concerned. Of course, we'll do the full testing. You can now get it with up to one terabyte NVMe PCIe SSD storage. And now the Thunderbolt 3 port supports four lanes, no longer limited to two lanes. So if you want to connect to an external GPU, that is now a better option for you. Now, if the new display is anything like last year's display, it's excellent. I'm happy they went with that because it's a 3000 by 2000 resolution. It's bright, as you can see when you compare it to its competition. It's also got some pretty good color accuracy and it covers the color gamut really well, as you can see here. And of course, it has that 91% screen to body ratio, giving you some really slim bezels. But unfortunately, the webcam is once again in the keyboard, giving you that chin cam. I was kind of hoping they would put it in the display like they did with the MateBook 13. But unfortunately, it looks like the webcam is still on the keyboard like we saw. And that I'm not a big fan of. So I was hoping they would improve that. But that's not the case. But despite that, this is still an excellent display and I can't wait to test it in the full review when I get my hands on the new 2019 MateBook X Pro. Now something that is new, this has the NVIDIA GeForce MX250 GPU. It's a 25 watt variant and they're saying it's three and a half times faster than the integrated graphics, which I don't doubt. However, I don't think it's gonna be that much of an increase over the MX150 from last year's model. What you will see though is an increase in things like video editing. You'll get a little bit of a boost in performance when you're doing those kind of tasks, but don't expect to play any AAA titles on its high settings. This is not a gaming chip by any stretch. If you need a stronger GPU, look elsewhere. Now I look forward to testing out the MX250 and see how it fares in real world usage. 
Now, as far as the design is concerned, I'm glad they didn't change too much. It's pretty much unchanged for that matter. And I love the one touch fingerprint sensor. It's lightning fast. Love it with Windows Hello. I'm glad they brought that back. Now, as far as the keyboard is concerned, I actually really like typing on it. Typing on it for the past six months has been a pleasure. The keys are nicely spaced out. I didn't feel like my fingers were going to bottom out. And I love the precision touchpad. Worked really well. And the very responsive touchscreen is also very well as far as navigation is concerned. I anticipate that the 2019 model will also have an excellent keyboard as well as a great trackpad. We'll see, of course. Now, having used the 2018 model for the past six months, one of the premium best features of it are its Dolby Atmos speakers. They're excellent. They're quad speakers and they sound fantastic. Rich, full, get loud. They're some of the best speakers I've ever had on a laptop. And that's saying a lot. Now, if the new model is anything like the last model, this is going to have some of the best speakers. Once again, I look forward to testing them out. They're that good. Now, in my MateBook 13 review, I compared the 2018 MateBook X Pro audio versus the MateBook 13, which sported two downward facing speakers, not quite as good as the MateBook X Pro. They're good in their own right, but not quite as good. Here is the MateBook X Pro once again. Now, one thing I'm looking really forward to testing out is the all new Huawei Share functionality. This is an integration between the smartphone line and the MateBook line. And I'm looking forward to testing it out because it looks pretty interesting and it doesn't look just gimmicky, it actually looks pretty functional. And just like the handoff feature and continuity features that you'd find with the MacBook and the iOS integration, here is very similar. With one quick tap, you can transfer photos, videos, and documents up to 30 megabits per second. I can't wait to test this out. This looks pretty interesting. This is the kind of solution I've been looking for. This looks pretty interesting. The shake and tap to record the screen. I actually been looking for something like that as well, especially when you do content creation here on YouTube. You could do things such as clipboard sharing where you can copy text on one device and paste it on another. Again, a highly usable feature that I can't wait to test out. Now here's something interesting as well. They're also using finger gestures to do screenshots and other kinds of features using your fingers on the touchscreen. That looks pretty interesting as well. Now, in addition to the new 2019 MateBook X Pro, Huawei also announced a new laptop in the MateBook line. It's the MateBook 14. Now, if you like the MateBook 13, but want something with a larger display, this may be a really good option for you. And just like the Huawei MateBook X Pro, this has the recessed camera in the keyboard, AKA the chin cam. I'm kind of wishing it was on the top of the display like you get with the MateBook 13, a more proper placement, not the case with the MateBook 14. Now the MateBook 14 has a 14 inch full view touchscreen display to three by two aspect ratio with a 2K resolution. Now you can get it with up to an eighth generation Intel Core i7 Whiskey Lake processor and the Nvidia GeForce MX250 GPU with two gigabytes of GDDR5 video memory. It's the 25 watt variant as well. And it has a 57.4 watt hour battery, which Huawei claims will give you 15 hours of video playback, 14 hours of productivity work, and 10 and a half hours of web browsing. Of course, I can't wait to get it into the studio, put it through the AMD tech treatment to see what the real world numbers are. I look forward to that. It has a pretty decent array of ports, but it doesn't have Thunderbolt 3 support, which is a little bit disappointing. But then again, this is geared towards business users, I think. So not necessarily a must have feature. But then again, it would have been nice to have Thunderbolt 3 on this. So now that Huawei's announced the 2019 MateBook X Pro, the all new MateBook 14, where does that leave the 2018 MateBook X Pro? I think it's a really good deal right now and it's still a viable laptop here in early 2019. In fact, you can get some really good deals on it. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to revisit it after six months. You can pick up the Core i7 version with the MX150 for only $1,300 on Amazon. I'll put my affiliate link below. If you buy through my affiliate link, of course, I'll get a small commission, which certainly helps me produce more videos on this channel. So I thank you in advance. And I think this is a really great deal, especially because you're getting some really nice specs at a great price. 
And dare I say, I think the 2019 version is not that much of an upgrade over the 2018 version. I think you're getting a lot of similar specs at a much lower price. So this is something you definitely want to look at. Look at the 2018 model before definitely shelling out for the 2019 model. Of course, I will be reviewing that 2019 model to see the difference. Now the 2018 Matebook X Pro is still my daily driver after six months of use and I can say with confidence that it's still one of my favorite laptops of all time. I actually love it. And the 2019 model may have some upgraded specs here and there, but it's nothing revolutionary. It's nothing too groundbreaking. And that to me is a reason to look at the 2018 model, especially at a reduced price. You're getting very similar features, you're just not breaking the bank. So I want to know what you think about the all new 2019 Matebook X Pro and the Matebook 14. Now the Matebook X Pro with this new refresh is actually really nice. It's an iterative update, not so much a revolutionary or radical update. There are not too many changes and I'm glad they didn't do too many changes because the design is excellent. The screen is excellent. Now they did update the MX150 to the MX250. 250, so we'll see how that fares in real world usage when I get a review unit in to test out. And I also want to see how the Whiskey Lake processor performs over the KB Lake R processor that was inside the last model in 2018. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. Now, my daily driver is still the 2018 Matebook X Pro, and for good reason. It's been a tried and true performer since I received it six months ago, and it's still one of my favorite laptops. I love its gorgeous display. It's held up really well. I love its battery life. I also love the design. It looks sleek. It looks professional. And, I, you know, some people might say, well, it looks too much like a MacBook. Yeah, it does, but it's a nice design nonetheless. Love the quad speakers. Best in the business as far as I'm concerned. Can't wait to see how they've improved that on the new 2019 model. So I'm looking forward to really testing it out. Now, as far as the Matebook 14, a lot of good specs there. I think it's a mid-tier laptop. It's geared towards the business users from what I can understand. There's no Thunderbolt 3 port on it, which may disappoint some. But then again, they want to differentiate the Pro line to the regular Matebook line. Now, I also just posted my review, or should be posted within the next day, the Matebook 13 review. I unbox it, I go through all the features of it, of course, and I compare it to my 2018 Matebook X Pro, and I give you my conclusion. So I'm gonna link it below. Check out my unboxing and first look of the Matebook 13. So a lot of great things coming out of Huawei this year, starting with CS 2019, and to the announcements today from MWC 2019. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you gonna pick up the new Matebook X Pro when it gets released this year, or are you sticking with the 2018 uh, model. Now, that's an interesting question because right now you can get it for $1,300 Core i7 MX150 at $1,300, which is a lot less than the $1,500 asking price when it was released last year. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.